let's move on to TCM Radio Lore Part 3. There we go. <laughs> All right. We got some interesting ones in here. We got like four or five uh, radio clips. So, Dude, I got to be honest. This is like my favorite part now. First of all, they're fun stories. And you get to elaborate like, is this somebody in the game or is this just a random story? Is this maybe a new killer in the game? Yeah, it's just weird stuff's happening, man. I just like the stories. It's like you're listening to like an audio book. It's true. Residents of Marfa, Texas say the phenomenon, simply known as the Marfa ghost lights, <laughs> are occurring at an astounding rate over the last few months. Witnesses report seeing white, blue, and red orbs of light dangle and dance above the Chinati Mountains for several minutes before quickly disappearing into the blackness of the Chihuahuan Desert. Although the lights have been but it visible always happens for over on July 100 4th. years, their origin remains a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it's red and blue lights. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? Uh, That's kind of interesting over the, what do they say? Chanani. Chanani Mountains or something. What does that mean? White, red, and blue lights. Like, what, is, what are they trying to imply there? To me, that kind of almost seems like alien, right? There's some weird lights that just show up and it doesn't really make sense. And white, white, red, and blue. Yeah, that's really strange. I don't know. Maybe there is there. I don't know. We'll have to ask Mav. Mav, stuff like this go down in your neighborhood? He's from over in that way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. White, red, and blue lights. Very strange. Okay. I want to know what you guys think on this one because I don't know what to think. I think it's just a weird <laughs> mystery. Yeah, all right. It, see, I would like if they incorporated some of these stories into a map. Like you're playing on a map and you see mountains in the background. With white, red, and blue yeah, lights. Like oh. I would like that. That'd be awesome to have the lore in the game. Yeah, it's a, especially because it's the radio stuff you listen to all the time. A night map with white, red, and blue lights. You have to check. Maybe it's already there and we don't even know. Possible. <laughs> Are there any mountains, though? <laughs> not really, not really. Hey, wait, maybe a mountain map. That'd be cool. Up in the forest, Alan Wake style. <laughs> A woman has been arrested for the attempted murder of local farm magnates, the Borins, with the intention of stealing their magnets? fortune. Brianna oh. Rose, 43, was hired as a live-in cook months ago. Patriarch Kit Borin was hospitalized earlier this week when a rare poison was discovered in his system. This led to Rose's arrest. Despite recommendations, the Borins began to suspect Ms. Rose wasn't who she claimed she was when efforts to reach her previous employers resulted in disconnected phone numbers and unanswered letters. Mr. Borin is expected to fully recover. Okay, so we have a killer who's poisoning families. I think we just have a bad nanny. <laughs> but here's the, you know what I think? If we had a killer come into the game where their ability is to take the med bottles and they can poison them. So when a victim takes it, it actually drops their health. Can Sissy poison health bottles? I think she can poison it, but it just drops the poison around, you know? They just get that poison effect. I'm saying, like, if you drink it, it takes your health down. Hmm, that's that'd be, interesting. That'd be good, and especially if she could see him around the I mean, that'd be really powerful, to be honest. Yeah, it's like, how do you balance that character? But yes, I we'll just go with that. That's an interesting idea. Uh, uh, I think this is, personally, I think this is just a random story, but... A series of home invasions throughout Bell County have turned into a search for a known fugitive. Omar Pauly, native of Holland, Texas, was arrested in 1967 for aggravated assault and larceny and was sentenced to five years in prison. After his release, Omar Pauly was implicated in a string of incidents outside McLennan County, where he was arrested again but managed to escape authorities. His current whereabouts are unknown. Okay, so we have Omar Pauly on the loose. It didn't really seem like he. Well, it didn't really seem like he did anything that bad. Yeah, there's not really much to Omar. Okay, that's that's an interesting, just like bad guy. Omar might even be a victim. <laughs> you could even have him as a victim where he could like break through things. I don't know. Oh, actually, you're right. Because again, he didn't do anything that bad. They didn't say that. Maybe a master lock picker. Oh, a interesting. New Connie. Oh, I like where you're going. Just a thought. The brutal attack on three female college students in Pflugerville, Texas last year is back in the public spotlight. Pflugerville citizens are in an uproar demanding answers from Texas state officials on why no arrests have been made in the case. Reports say an unidentified man entered the home in the middle of the night, viciously strangling one female to death before attempting to stab both roommates who were sleeping nearby. Authorities believe the attacker fled the scene after discovering multiple people lived in the house. The man is believed to be in his late 20s, has dark hair and brown eyes, and has several scars on his face and arms. Police are urging anyone with information to please come forward. I mean, come on. 
That's Johnny all day, every that's, day. Yeah, that's my that's man's. A, that's, that's my man's. <laughs> <laughs> that's your boy. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, strangled someone, stabbed a couple, and then there was too many people for him. Uh, that's not the Johnny Johnny I know. Yeah, if, if that was you, you would have just gone oh, buck wild. Everyone did. Everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a classic Johnny attack. So uh, good job, Johnny. Props to Johnny, man. <laughs> Out there killing. <laughs> Doing the Lord's work. <laughs> Authorities were alerted to Helm's Ranch yesterday to investigate reports of cattle abuse, but what they found instead was disturbingly serene. The ranch was devoid of livestock. Instead, 13 men, all dressed in plain white clothes, were sitting in chairs spread throughout the property. Each one was wearing a simple rope belt, a pair of sunglasses, and holding a copy of King James Bible. No man showed signs of abuse, neglect, or trauma. The sheriff's department believes each man ingested some amount of potassium cyanide, judging from the large quantities of it discovered in the kitchen. No reason has been given as to why these men may have taken their lives, but this reporter just learned of the existence of a manifesto discovered in the pocket of one of the men. More news on this story as it develops. Okay, so we have a cult where everyone's dead. Yes. They killed the livestock and then themselves? Livestock. Well, they said no. There's no livestock on the. They were just saying there's no livestock on the property. It's just a bunch of dudes drinking oh. cyanide. So here, you know what I think? What? There's a cult leader out there. Maybe a guy who can hypnotize victims. Oh, I like that idea. Come here, Maria. And I can <laughs> see a good map here too. What if all the cult followers like are on the ground, and if victims run too close, they uh. Help me. Help. I made a big mistake. This was a bad decision. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>